say certo in Italian you're saying sure sure so uh, let's say uh, always the same three consonants that are very important to learn in Italian that are D T and R so D T R uh, let's start with the D De, re, te. Sorry, the R 
re in Italian is the king, the king, il re. So, re, you. exercise with the uh, O. The O is, um, we have two O's, I told you, uh, there are O, wide, open, and O, closed. Much, much, um, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. So, I can make an example of, a, of two words that uh, change completely their meaning, uh, changing the pronunciation of the O, which is Botte, the botte is the barrel where you put the wine. Is that barrel right? Sorry, if, if it is wrong, tell me. I'm sorry if it is wrong. Anyway, barrel, to me, it is like where you put the wine, the big thing, wooden thing that it used to be used, but it's already used to put the wine and put it in a, um, in a basement. And uh, the botte are like having a fight. So, if you say botte, you're saying having a fight, beating somebody, somebody, beat, to beat somebody. Uh, prendere a botte means having a fight. So, botte is another thing. So, botte, 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 botte. Two different meanings and two different pronunciations. But written the same thing, B-O-T-T-E, same thing in Italian, but different meanings, different pronunciations. So if you read it, you have to see the, 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 the meaning of the whole sentence in order to understand which word is it. And there is no other way. So, um, the, uh, it is very important in Italian. We have many uh, situations of this kind. So we have to learn how to pronounce perfectly the O and the O. But we don't have others, only the two possible pronunciations. Da, you. Da, da, you. Da, You know? Da, da, you. Da, you. Da, you. Da, which is not da, 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 it's da, da, da. Da, da, you. Da, you. Da, you. Ro. Ro.
o o o o just cover your teeth a little bit more that's it like uh saying wo 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 to this exercise mm -hmm. and in um italian there are a lot of words that use this uh dip tongue like wo wo like uomo 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 which is which means man uomo uomo or uovo uovo which is um uh egg so let's try with to torta torta in italian is a cake torta torta try it torta you don't say tarta you say torta even because torta means that it's been turned off turned off not turned off means the no another thing turned turned so torta is another thing it's from a verb is um, um so you you have to 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 say in order to say cake you have to say torta torta with this o o o much closer here so to to Thank you. 
I suggest you to work on the, uh, the articulation of these vowels and also of these uh, consonants that are very important for a good pronunciation, good Italian pronunciation. So work hard. It's very simple. It's not difficult at all. It's not a, a vocal uh, exercise. It's a, a, an articulation exercise. So try and repeat exactly as I did and just record your uh, performances so that you can check if you're pronouncing uh, it properly. And in case, write to me, uh, subscribe, uh, don't forget to like it <laughs> if you want. And uh, see you soon, bye bye, good singing!